The NLRB with a ruling in favor of unions next on your Labor Minute. Good evening, I'm Mark Harrison. The National Labor Relations Board, or NLRB, has tightened its interpretation of when companies can retain permanent replacement workers. Since Ronald Reagan replaced striking air traffic controllers with permanent replacement workers in 1981, employers have been emboldened to routinely fire striking workers and bring in what's known as permanent replacements to do their jobs, an act that has ever since had a chilling effect on workers' right to strike. But in a recent decision, the board cited a 1938 Supreme Court ruling that stated in part, it will now be incumbent upon companies to establish legitimate and substantial justification for failing to reinstate striking employees whose positions have been filled by permanent replacements, and that the board will find a violation if it is shown that an employer was motivated by an independent, unlawful purpose in replacing those workers, an opinion that was upheld again by the court in 1964. Yet, much of this rule of labor law has been ignored by companies who often begin threatening to replace would-be strikers with permanent workers well before a strike even occurs. Now, This recent ruling by the NLRB is considered extremely important for helping to reestablish the balance between workers and employers. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.